native apps are where we get the vast majority of our live video viewership and we really um, we have tried at times to provide better support within mobile web but fundamentally it's much better experience for our users and frankly it's better for our business if we can get people to download our native app and use it um, it's a better navigation experience playback is better there's just a lot of other richness in terms of the functionality that that can be provided so we've really kind of gone all in with driving people there. We definitely support mobile web for, for um, you know, ad supported VOD playback, but, but and we do do some live uh, in certain cases, but we really try to drive people to native apps. To our, our most successful publishing customers um, are very, are big believers in native apps. And it's the, the notion of a universal app is just, you know, once, once you get in the trenches and start actually doing it, it's just the navigation between a mobile device, a tablet, and a 10-foot experience are just completely different, and you just need to build a different app for each of them. So there's some commonalities between them, but there's also some differences that absolutely need to be taken into account. Otherwise, it's going to be a terrible user experience. The native apps are what speak to the customer. I think it, it gives them an, a more immersive brand experience, so you're not just getting a video pop-up experience, especially when, like, on, on smartphone, on smaller mobile devices. On a, on a tablet, on Android tablets, you do get you don't get blown out of the video entirely when you play a video, so you do get some page support to go along with it. But really, as far as the the need for native apps, I, it's I, I think it's definitely where the consumers are at, and I think it's where the longevity is. There's no question today we're all in the app space. That's where all the most of the engagement is going to happen in terms of time. But in terms of that funnel of driving people, that the mobile web is much larger and actually growing much faster than apps, right? It's a much smaller uh, amount of time that someone might spend. But I think as an industry, we need to be a little bit careful because the mobile web is open and apps aren't. Right. And uh, I, I think we are just feel a little bit of a soapbox item here. Like we want to be careful not to completely neglect the mobile web experience because it's where people are going to go in kind of an impulse way. It's the top of the funnel. Gonna, it's how you're going to start to bring people into the program. But there's no question that today it's, it's in the app world that a lot of the long engagement is happening. Ignoring it as a start point is, it would be a, a terrible idea because I think that is where a lot of people kind of begin their engagement. But I think that it's up to bo both brand, both developer, UI, UX, all of those things to make sure that what the user is getting when they land in that mobile experience, that it's either a very clear redirect if that's where the brand direction is or that they are providing something that, that does take advantage of that platform because it is far more widely accessible. You know, the, the web, there's far more endpoints on the web than there are on, on any sort of smart devices out there. So to ignore it would definitely be a bad idea, but it is, it's a challenge.